hello friends today in this tutorial we will be making http get request to the github api inside our angular 9 application so this is my brand new angular 9 project here here you just need to there is a single folder out there which is app here go inside this folder and go to the app component dot html file and here if i write anything here and if i build this file here let's suppose by executing the command which is ng surf so basically this will compile the application this is a command which is responsible for compiling the application and uh, in the meantime i can just change the title to github api get request in angular 9 and then i can just provide a simple h1 heading so this will be github api get users in uh, angular 9 and after that we will be having a simple button so which will be having a label of uh, get users and we will also be binding a on click event handler to it so when we click this button we will execute this uh, get users function like this and now i need to turn off my auto save if i save the changes so it will compile this application in the background you can see that so when it is complete it will have a green screen like this if i reload the application you will see that github api users in angular 9 so now we need to bind the on click event listener to it so for this we need to go to app component dot ts file typescript file so inside this we will be defining this uh, get users functions which is when we click the button we will execute this function get users and also one variable we will declare here which is of data let's suppose users and this will be of type uh, string array so now in order to get the data from the api we need to build a separate service in angular 9 in order to build this service go back to the command prompt inside the folder and execute this command which is ng generate service and uh, we need to uh, build this service inside the services folder slash uh, github like this enter it and now this will create this service inside this services folder now you can see that it has created this services folder and it contains two files and i will go to the second file which is github service dot typescript file and here we just need to make the http request so first of all in order to make http request we need to import some modules here for that we need to go to app.module.ts file and here we just need to import our uh, uh, http client module from at the rate angular slash common slash http and from this we need to import http client module and also we need to imp add this inside our imports array like this so http client module like this so after entering after adding this inside our app.module.ts file go back to github service.ts and uh, once again we need to import this module inside this which is import from at the rate angular slash common slash http and now we will be including this uh, http client and one other module that we need to import is the observable module from rsx so basically this is rxjs reactive extension and inside this we need to import observable and now inside this uh, github service class we need to include it inside the constructor which is we need to include this service private HTTP which is of the type HTTP client like this and now we just need to define our function here which will be simply be get data so we will be calling this function inside our component file so basically this will be a observable so we will just write here add colon and then we will write here observable like this and the type it will return is any so basically it will return any sort of data 
and now we also need to return from this function so return and here we need to use our uh, http variable which is this dot http because uh, http is a class level variable so now we are using this keyword to access it and we are using the get method like this of this and now we also need to provide this angular bracket and write here any and in the parentheses we need to define the url so here early on we can just define a variable const url and inside this we can just define the http url from which we need to make the request so this will be api.github.com slash users now we, we can just pass this url like this so this completes the service so just uh, three lines of code first of all we are defining the service and then we are using the get method of the http uh, client and passing this url and now basically this will return the observable now we need to catch this inside our uh, this uh, app.component.ts file so here we need to uh, first of all include our service right here at the top which is uh, import so this is located inside our services folder and uh, this is github service like this we need to import this uh, github service like this and uh, we need to have our constructor for our app level component inside this we will define a service which is uh, github sorry github service which is of the type github service that we have imported and after defining it we need to also write a set of curly brackets after the constructor we can use this service by having the this keyword this dot github service dot it contains a method you can see that get data because we have defined this method inside the service get data so it is showing it inside suggestion and basically this data returns a observable we need to subscribe to it so it contains a subscribe method so whenever the whenever the data comes in we will be catching this data inside this callback function subscribe and now we can just simply console log this data for just checking purposes like this and if i just reload the application if i see no changes no errors are there and basically if i reload the application uh, nothing is there let me just see if I save the changes or not so save changes here and also save the changes I need to build it once again like this so just execute this command once again ng serve So basically it will compile the application for us so just wait it will take some time so you can see that zero percent compiling so first of all it takes some time and after that it will auto reload once we make any kind of change so now you can see that it has compiled successfully and now basically if i uh, hit this get users button in the console I will see a response if I hit this you will see that 30 users are returned to me from the API and each user has its own property we will be displaying this avatar URL so for that we will be making a separate component which will be receiving this so just go to command prompt in order to make a component in angular 9 just execute this command ng generate component and we need to have a components folder and inside this we will define the users component like this capital U enter it so now basically it will contain a components folder inside our app directory you can see that it has created it and now inside this components folder there is a users component and now inside our uh, app.component.html we need to make our uh, app dot users so basically this is a selector we are using here so if you go to your uh, this uh, users dot component dot ts file this is a selector for this component app dot users so now we are using this selector inside our app dot component now we need to pass some data to it 
so we will pass this data which is the whole array so which will be users is equal to and then we will pass the data which is uh, users so basically inside our uh, app dot component dot ts file this file so you can see that this is the array here that we are passing now we just need to initialize this array as well so we can just use this dot users is equal to data that's it and now we have initialized the data which is coming back from the api and now we need to send this data to our users component so inside our app dot component we have made this change here users we are passing this whole data this whole array to our app users component and now we in order to receive this full array we need to make some change inside our users dot component dot typescript file we need to import a input module which is a kind of a decorator in typescript input like this and inside this we just need to write add the rate input and we need to define the data which is coming in which is kind of a string array again like this so after defining the data which is coming into the component users component we need to go to the users component dot html file and here we just need to define our response so we will be having a unordered list and inside this we will use the ng4 directive ng4 so this will be equal to let user of users users is our array and now inside this we li tag or sorry we can use the image tag to display the images source will be equal to user dot avatar url like this close this and now basically if i refresh the application if i hit this get users so you will see that let me just see here it should come here why it is not coming let me just see here i have made a mistake or this is user of uh, users so this is a array here let me just print out the whole users array if it is printing or not if i hit this so you will see that we will get a let series of objects here so now we just need to have loop through these objects so ul tag so inside this we will use the ng4 which will be let user of users so inside this we will have our image tag the source will be equal to user dot avatar url and now if i refresh it hopefully this will display the images to us mm, what is let me see the property here inside avatar underscore url the property is correct let me just print out a id user dot id inside user dot id if i refresh so you will see that it will be displaying these ids to us but why it is not displaying the images let me just check here this is avatar url this is a property let me copy this property so this will be user dot so now you can see that it has displayed the image here so it is big in size here you can see that the image the images are big 
now we can resize the images also by adding a width property to it of 50 and a height of also 50 if I refresh it so now you you will see that it will be resized to 50 and 50 width and height so in this simple manner you can make a get request to any API inside your angular 9 application using the concepts that I just demonstrated to you so thanks very much for watching this video